What up, peeps? Welcome to day 18 of 31 days of Stephen King. Let's pop in and see who missing bones pulls out the skull tonight. Day 18 of 31 days of Stephen King is... The Mist. She pulled out Stephen King's The Mist, directed by Frank Darabont, starring Thomas Jane. The movie starts off, okay, Thomas Jane is a movie uh, poster designer, and the movie starts off with some kind of crazy ass wild storm that hits, and a tree comes through his house, destroys his posters. And Knocks a tree over on their boathouse, and a tree falls over on their neighbor's car. And so him and his son are going to go to the grocery store to pick up some supplies, and the neighbor asks to go with them. And then that shit hits the fan there. Um, apparently this wild storm causes this crazy mist, a mysterious, dangerous mist. That unleashes all these giant creatures and bugs that attack the convenience store. <clears throat> My wife thinks it's some kind of military experiment gone wrong that was released because as they're heading into town to look for supplies and stuff, you see a bunch of military vehicles heading out of town. And there's a few young military people there that seem to know something's wrong. But they don't really say. In the TV series, there's three military, three or four military people there that are up to no good. And they're trapped in this convenience store, fending for their lives. The Shermanator from American Pie is at the beginning of the movie, but they're in the back uh, loading dock area, and this big giant tentacle, like it's from a giant octopus or something, goes. Reaches in through the garage door and pulls him through, rips his skin off, and, <clears throat> and then throughout the movie, they have these lights hooked up, and it's like, duh, I think they're attracted to the lights. What do you think bu bug zappers are that we use? And bugs always go to them and get killed and stuff. And, but they start flying through, breaking a window, flying through, and attacking them. This one lady gets bit, stung, and her face swells up size of a watermelon. And basically, they hold up there and try to defend themselves by the end of the movie. Let's just say the military shows up to help a little too late by the end of the movie. Me and my wife don't like the very end of it too well. Other than the very ending, it's a pretty good movie. I'd recommend you check out any Stephen King at least once so you can say you've seen it. This is what we watched for day 18. Peace.